for all the things you care about. That's right. On the show today, sneak peeks! Hey! Hey! You don't know what that means yet. I, don't, I haven't teased it yet. This weekend, Iron Man gave us a look at the new trailers for The Dark Knight. Hey! And Indiana Jones! Hey! And around the net, we're going to show them to you admission free. Plus, we're going to find out what's up with Japan and reveal a cafe where the mail servers cross-dress as maids. Right. Yeah. So, forget drinking coffee to wake you up. Try the training. <laughs> also, in the loop, we're talking internet politics. This year's presidential election has been all over YouTube, and we'll find out if the virals or Twitters have had any real impact on the race. And then, in Robot News, we'll show off a tournament where robots fight to the death with lasers yeah. yeah. in an actual Guitar Hero robot that hooks into a circuit board on top of your controller. Bring it now, Dragon Force. Oh, what? call it a mount. Yeah. Call it a yeah. mount. Would yeah. you really use a robot to cheat at a video game? Wait, yes, yes you I would. would. I've... <laughs> Time now to run down and the top five things on the web That's right now. Judgment. I'm a purist. Stop judging me. You would too. I'll always win. <laughs> We're going around the net. We're starting things off at number five by witnessing the joy of friends in action. I love, yeah. I love a good solid friendship. Look, you know, there's nothing better I, in this world. I mean, we we have a great friendship. But, on camera. Yeah, but but okay, let let's be honest. Let's let's be honest right now. Okay, let's you're, do it. Let's get okay. it all out there. In life, you can't count on your family. You're right, right? You're right. Why though? Because mostly they're just jealous of you. Thank you. So you have to leave it to your friends to find comfort and trust. But but I gotta say, as much as I love you on camera, um, mm -hmm. and I don't trust my family. Friends, sometimes it doesn't really work out so great with them either. Okay. No! <laughs> mm. Yeah. You know, I watch that video and I go, oh, that hurt. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out who's the bigger jerk in the video. Like, uh -huh. is it really the guys that sneak up behind the dude and trip him? Or is it the guy standing in front of him faking a conversation with him to distract, distract him, him from the guys behind him? It's got to be the guy distracting him, right? Cause Clearly. He's just, he's just reeling him in. He's luring him in. Yeah, that's not cool. No, it's not cool. But, but it's still hilarious awesome. hilarious nonetheless, yeah. yeah. Which guy would you be? Would you, guys, would you be I'd tripping totally him? I'd totally be the guy. Like, I, I would feel Doing... too bad to actually trip him for some, somehow. But it's worse to be brain. the guy. I know, but somehow I'm like, oh, I'm not actually causing him the pain, but I'll sit here and distract him and tell him his car's on fire or something. That's so horrible. he can be tripped. That's awesome. That's who I am. You're like, hey, there's some great showers over here. Want to go check out the showers? <laughs> the Just showers? lead him into the showers. It's a Nazi joke. Oh, I thought it was a prison rape joke. Hey, Luke, thanks for I thought it was prison rape. That's, that's more apt, right? Like, come on. I'm here and keep going. Okay. Now, Deal or No Deal has been pulling out all the stops. They've had a Star Wars episode, if you guys remember. <laughs> Do you really think that's how Hitler did it? Hey, you check, come on, you gotta check no, these out. No, I think he had people like check you. Check out the tile. I think, he, sure. I think he had people like you. Okay, go, sorry, he's moving the one on. who trips them. We're moving on. And you're the one who goes, hey, so your car is on fire and showers. I got yelled at. So, deal or no deal? Um, they've had uh, the president making a cameo <laughs> yes, they have. recently. They had the Star Wars <laughs> yes. episode. Uh, really, they had the president on because they had nothing better to do. Very is, true. Is the truth of that. And now, a classic moment has resurfaced on the web of a stunt they pulled with one of the models. Yes, yeah, so in at number four, we're looking at what happened when a contestant's sister posed as a model last yeah. fall. Folks, this, I mean, this is a, some major league idiocy <laughs> right <laughs> this here. This is awesome. The woman doesn't recognize her own sister. <laughs> Look at each case. Look at them very carefully. Are you studying the case? <laughs> Does number 21 look like a good case? Yeah. Wow. Does 21 look like a good case to you? As opposed to what? Yeah. <laughs> look at the model that's holding the case. If you see the extended version, it goes on a long time. Oh, yeah. Even the mom doesn't recognize it. So, as a Cinco de Mayo like, gift, 
Here are three fun Ooh. facts about America's favorite Baldy, Howie Mandel. All right. One, yeah. he's colorblind. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Two, he won't shake people's hands because he's a germaphobe. I knew that. All right. And three, he was the voices of Animal and Skeeter in Muppet Baby. Uh, yeah. Two words, if I may. Yes. Bobby's World. Oh, Bobby's World. Can you do Bobby's voice? Don't say, I don't even know. Bobby's World. Bobby's World. Don't say we it? never did anything for you. You want to do a Pee Wee Herman laugh before we get to the next one? You want to? Come on, they want to hear a Pee Wee Herman laugh. I just <laughs> We'll yeah. move on. All right, fine. Well, by the end of the show, we will have a Pee-wee Herman laugh. We will at some point. Today's number three item comes to us from the beautiful landscape of rural oh. Poland. Some say it's idyllic. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. And in such a landscape surrounded by empty metal containers and crippling boredom, there is really only one thing to pass the time. Blow those containers up with explosive carbide salt. Of course. <laughs> If there's one thing we take away, let's be happy, because it's about damn time Poland got its own space program. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Hold on. Do you, do you see what happened? Did, I did said you, something did, and they went, oh. Did you, guys, did you guys just see what happened? I made a space joke. N no, wait, say it again. It's about time Poland got its own space program. Oh, my God. We have been striving for this since the day we got here. I think we just had our first Polish joke. Oh, we did it. We did it. That's great. I guess oh. to, to honor Poland, we should eat some, some Polish sausage. Oh. As good as you always imagine? It is really hot. Uh, I bet your ass it is. But we didn't finish. I ain't one over the hill. Really hot. I'm hurting. Anybody? Oh, that was greasy. Look, this was fun, but I, I, I gotta say, from, from the Gulf of Gdansk to the, the Tatra Mountains, Poland's rich culture and heritage have survived for over a thousand years because of things like this. That's right. And Attack of the Show salutes you by making our traditional joke about your people's perceived lack of intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Cinco de Mayo! Thanks for dripping hot grease all over my arm. <laughs> Very sweet of you. Today's number two item is a commercial for a children's toy from Ireland. What Take another you? bite? You didn't even break the skin. Because it burned Get in there. Lips. Earn that paycheck. Come on, get in there. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, Now, we've seen other ads for this particular toy before, the one you're about to see. We're talking about toys right now. But this new entry gets the message across yeah. much more directly. Well done. Very directly, in fact. Just watch the, just play it with the clip and the stuff. Baby Pearly Pee-Pee, have a drink. Oh, how happy little thing. He's laughing. He'll start laughing when you tickle him. Let me do it. His lips will really move and he's done a pee-pee. With him, with baby Pearly Pee Pee. Oh, 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 Friends is what four years of college will do to you. I'm telling you, you don't get that sort of elasticity at, at, at a public school. Well done. So about that commercial.
Now, the commercial says, check out this great toy for your family. It will help teach responsible caregiving. Right, but the toy itself says it's only a matter of minutes before someone uses me to spray fake urine all over your wall. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's prop humor. <laughs> And finally, topping off the internet at number one today, it's trailer season, everybody! That just reminded me that I'll never become, get in a big blockbuster movie with crap like this. Well, now, every year... look, Vivid is making pictures that are... <laughs> it could bust Fingers a block or two. All right, you guys, every year as summer blockbuster season kicks off, there is a short interval called trailer season when theaters and websites are packed full of amazing previews for the rest of the big summer movies coming out. Oh, and Bloom and Harvest are rich this year, my lady, mm. if I can tell you that. Hmm. Last weekend's Iron Man screenings brought in the first wave uh, with this one right here. It's the new Indiana Jones trailer. Legend says that a crystal skull was stolen from a mythical lost city in the Amazon. Don't touch anything. You know, people are going to get mad about that. Oh, well. But he's Shia LaBeouf, my wife. So, what, you know, what can he do? And of course, Indiana Jones isn't the only franchise returning to the silver screen this summer. Iron Man, mm. $104 million. We predicted it. We I mean, predicted A little bit of a disappointment. We did say $700 million yeah, at the end of it. But did, yeah, so studios are disappointed because it didn't reach the projected $700 right. million of Attack of the Show's living Sure, sure. Rare. But still, did, did well. Did very did well. well. But at Iron Man, they debuted the new Dark Knight trailer. <laughs> So what are you proposing? It's simple. Kill the Batman. <laughs> Bruce, this is Harvey Dent. Rachel's told me everything about you. Well, I certainly hope not. The night is darkest just before the dawn. I promise you, the dawn is coming. This city deserves a better class of criminal. I'm gonna give it to him. No! <laughs> You'll see. I'll show you. You'd have to be like picking a favorite. These movies are competing against each other, right? There'd be yeah. some battle. That's the most beautiful thing. These movies are actually trying to help each other out. Yeah. There's no competition whatsoever. That, that's what's so amazing about it. They're just the love of cinema mm -hmm. and the love of each other. It's all for the fans, and it's yeah. just similar fans for both movies. And Dark Knight has already been doing its fair share of viral marketing, and now they've started to include the new Indiana Jones movie in with their material. I thought I thought it was like a web guy playing a prank or something yeah. like that. But no, we actually sent this mysterious envelope with a, with a bat symbol uh -huh. on it, right? We're like, okay, Dark Knight, why so serious? It led us on a weekend-long scavenger hunt, which yeah. eventually pointed us to today, which is Cinco de Mayo, yeah. and this very, very strange cross-promotional commercial. Este verano, en la Ampeteatre de Tijuana, dos gigantes luchan para resolver el resultado Batman y Indiana Jones. El 6 de julio, te va a encender los huevos. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to Tijuana, right? Yes. Going we're to Tijuana. absolutely going there. <laughs> but seeing that is like, I'm going to put that on 8th on my most important priority list while I'm there. Really? Yeah. So what's 1 through 7? Donkey shows. Oh. And prescription drugs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they don't 
you need this trip over there. No, uh, no. That's the best part. You load up. Take an order. It's hitting on my space. <laughs> to get your daily viral fix and to check out all the viral videos we have to offer, just point your inner web enabled web portal browser things to g4tv.com slash around the net. And don't forget to catch tonight's 10 o'clock show featuring our new ATN After Hours mm. segment with exclusive videos. Tonight, we'll commemorate the anniversary of Mexico's victory at the Battle of Puebla by drinking ourselves into a stupor and gawking at Miss Maxim Mexico and her Senorita Amiga. Mm -hmm. That was some Spanish. Can you pull a, pull a sausage in there? No. no. But while we were showing our, our, our Dark Knight Indiana Jones, I coughed up a little. Oh, you had a little, little fleshy Yeah, I wonder chunk. if I could find it. Oh, yeah, here it is. It. All right. I threw it on the ground. Tasty. Anybody want it? No? Sell it on eBay. You'll be fine. Right now, it's time for the only news you need to know. Here's Kristen Holt and the feed headlines. Come here. Huh. Thanks, guys. Here's what's coming up in the feed. First, Iron Man swept the box office this weekend with some pretty incredible numbers. Plus, Marvel announces their upcoming slate of films. And yes, you'll get more Iron Man soon. And Nine Inch Nails are giving away an entire album for free with no catch. It's all coming your way in just a few minutes. But first, back to you guys. Still ahead, Allison Hayslip travels to the Fontana Speedway to test drive the new Suzuki 600 motorcycle. She has 160 miles yes. per hour. She told over me that. that she's never really felt she was going to die until that I moment. I can't believe send you out there. Yeah, I would have died. Then, from soybeans to seals, what do you want to ditch reality for an artificial stimulation? There's only one place to go, and that is Japan. We're going to fill you in on all the latest happenings. And in Robot News, we'll show you a six legged NASA sponsored exploration bot. They don't give out varsity letters in Wii Tennis. The Morgan Minute begins in 60 seconds. Their defense against UV rays. Yes, the Wii's motion sensitive controller has revolutionized gaming, but it is not exercise. I'm as happy as anybody to see titles like We Fit and We Healthy used in hospitals and nursing homes. Making regular activity fun is a great therapeutic tool for people recovering from obesity or ennui. But the rest of you, get outside. There is a big, beautiful world out there. It's got sunshine and oxygen and people you can talk to. No headset required. With any luck, some of them might even date you. Enjoy your games. I do. But the most important combo move I ever learned was to put the controller down and leave the house for a while. The game will still be there when you get back. Promise. I'm Morgan, and that has been a minute. Four. Saw Iron Man yesterday. I just got down playing Grand Theft Auto 4. Both of them were better than I could have even imagined. My weekend, I think, was just perfect. That is the weekend that we promoted Hence to all that our fans. Excitement. Yeah. It was <laughs> this weekend awesome. was pretty much the coolest great. thing ever. Did you do both this week? You saw Iron Man. Did you see it again? Uh, I saw it on Monday. I didn't see it again because yeah. I actually was spending a lot of time in Liberty City. Back. And then I was Comcast Karen. So I was. Oh, really? I didn't care enough. Baseboards. No, I didn't care enough. I stayed home. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Like, You're like, screw the kids. I want to sleep me. in. <laughs> um, but we are live and still hungover from the weekend, which was yeah, awesome. Right. I, I do agree with him. Both amazing yeah. things Iron Man and Grand Theft Auto. Kevin shut down two bars this weekend, and uh, I think you're going to need something. Because when you guys don't have any hair of the dog, the only news you need to know is it's really a fine substitute. Oh, good. I'm Kristen Holt, and here are your top stories. It's nice to see you guys back in front of your television sets, since apparently all of you went to go see Iron Man this weekend. The movie made $102 million domestically. Internationally, the Robert Downey Jr. flick grossed just under $100 million. That makes it the second highest grossing non-sequel ever. Only the first Spider-Man film made more money. Analysts predicted that the release of GTA 4 would hurt the sales of tickets this weekend. Wow, were they ever wrong. And what was wrong for them is oh so right for Marvel Studios. If you couldn't get enough of the Man of Lead this weekend, you're in luck. Iron Man 2 will hit theaters in the summer of 2010, and he'll be joined by everyone's favorite Viking god, the Mighty Thor. If you prefer your superheroes a little more American, then 2011 is your year. Marvel has an Avengers summer planned with the launch of Captain America on the big screen in May, and will swiftly follow that up with a full Avengers film in July. 
Well, it looks like everyone's favorite tech soap opera has come to an end. Microsoft officially withdrew their offer to buy Yahoo over the weekend. Originally, Microsoft offered Yahoo $31 a share, and Yahoo wanted $40. Microsoft then raised the price to $33, and Yahoo countered with $38, and then Microsoft walked. The stock market took a walk with Microsoft. Yahoo shares plunged 20% this morning. Now we'll just have to wait and see if Yahoo's proposal to outsource ads to Google will help them reach their lofty financial projections for the year. So there's still some soap left in this opera. Meanwhile, Seth MacFarlane's finances just went through the roof. The Family Guy creator has made a deal with 20th Century Fox Television that's worth more than $100 million. The deal includes his shows Family Guy, American Dad, and Family Guy spinoff, The Cleveland Show, as well as new media projects and DVD sales. This means Seth MacFarlane is now the highest paid writer in Hollywood. His deal is even bigger than the one J.J. Abrams signed with Paramount Pictures and Warner Brothers. And finally, Trent Reznor is really serious about changing the way the music industry works. Here's the proof. He's giving away his latest album for free with a note to fans that says, Thank you for your continued and loyal support over the years. This one's on me. The album is available in several high-quality digital formats under a Creative Commons license. The band even encourages fans to take the album, remix it, share it with friends, post it on a blog or podcast, or even give it away to strangers. Check out NineInchNails.com for more details. That's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. Stay tuned to G4 all day and look for the feed ticker at the bottom of your screen. We'll have all the news you need to know as it happens. I'm Kristen Holt, and you've just been fed. Thanks, Kristen. So, when you think of motorcycles here at G4... Yes, nice. that have was you, awesome. Have you ever had anybody fly, uh, fly off the bitch seat? Nobody I ever went back for, now. Oh, <laughs> good to know. Still ahead, everybody. The Loop examines YouTube's power in the, this year's presidential campaign. How has the Internet affected American lolitics? Lolitics. And then later on, we're going to show you the latest cosplay fads when we check out what is up with Japan. What the hell is up? <laughs> the feed is brought to you by GEICO, where 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. So summer is right around the corner, and G4 has got some big things planned for you guys to stay out of the sun. Keep your asses on the couch and check out what we have in store. So new show launches, world television premieres, the return of a favorite comedy series, and exclusive live coverage from the hottest pop culture and gaming events from all around the world. Here is a sneak peek of what G4 has for you guys all summer long. They say this summer's gonna be a scorcher. So stay out of the sun with G4 all summer long. We'll be live at Comic-Con and the biggest gaming conventions in the world like PAX, Leipzig, and E3 2008. Yeah! We'll be bringing you the outrageous season two premiere of Code Monkeys. Plus more G4 exclusives, including a dark night behind the scenes special and the world television premiere of the King of Kong. It's all a part of G4's Stay Out of the Sun Summer, starting June 1st, only on G4. All right, as you just saw, G4's got a kick-ass summer plan for you with exclusive programming like the world television, television premiere of the acclaimed film, The King of Kong. Yeah, I just said kick-ass. Ki I was like, that's what, it's like, kick-ass, bro. I just said it in there, dude. Yeah. So Hella kick-ass and stuff. <laughs> the King of Kong, it's this amazing movie is awesome, documentary. Though. In 2007, a film crew set out to document the world of competitive arcade gaming and discovered this epic conflict. G4 presents the battle for gaming's most controversial world record. Catch the King of Kong's world television premiere June 1st. It's only on the kick-ass network G4. What, what up, bro? Oh, ass is getting kicked left and right. <laughs> we don't talk like that. Don't go anywhere. A mad scientist has armed robots with lasers. What, what could go wrong? wrong? Ah! What? And another genius made a guitar hero droid. It's in today's Robot News. And don't go away, guys. Huh? Later, what do suits that simulate old age and cross-dressing have in common? They're, They're both, both what's up with Japan? Japan. Stay tuned. Don't kick out. Although Grand Theft Auto 4 is an amazing game, it's the first Grand Theft Auto game in the series to include multiplayer, and it's just been totally reinvented. You have to own a piece.
PS3 or an Xbox 360 just to play it. And both of them being expensive systems, not lots of people are going to go out and buy one of those systems for just that one game. But they would buy them for the other games but that I you would could buy play a, on them, too. I would buy a movie theater just to watch Iron Man. So I, <laughs> going for the, using that argument. Look, just because John Fav emailed you, okay, doesn't mean you have to be pushing Iron Man every it's second. It's not a big deal. i just like, oh, I've got mail. Hey, J Fav. <laughs> okay, guys, the latest innovations in robotics. If you dig this, then you dub this. Because I'm all about the nerd life, board life. If you dig this, then you dug this, because I'm all about the nerd life, ward life. Click today. From the creators of Code Monkeys comes Code Monkeys Season 2. Yeah, this jail thing's kind of like summer camp, except with lots of rape and a lot less sun. As offensive and raunchy as South Park, only better. Doing drugs is a crime, Dave. It is? When did that happen? Code Monkeys Season 2, June 1st, right after the world television premiere of King of Kong, only on G4. So, but Welcome back, everybody. Now, in Japan, male cafe servers dress as maids, drivers wear suits to feel like old people, and artificial pets take the place of real ones. Just your normal day for the tiny island nation. <laughs> yeah, let's check in. Here's what's up with Japan. Japan. Home of sushi, ninjas, and stuff that is, well, just different. Konnichiwa, my friends. It's time to find out what's up with Japan. The Japanese love their edamame before meals, so why not turn it into a toy? The Mugen Edamame electronic keychain is the latest sensation to hit Japan. From Bandai Osovision, the creators of the Infinite Bubble Wrap keychain, the Infinite Soybean lets you simulate peeling an edamame pod without the mess. It makes an electronic popping sound when you peel it, and a plastic soybean with a random face pops out. Do you ever wish someone would call you master? Then head on over to a maid cafe where the staff are at your beck and call. These places have been popular in Japan for years, but if that wasn't weird enough, earlier this year they opened a cross-dressing cafe where men dress as maids to serve you. Now this cafe is only open on certain weekends because the men who work there also have regular jobs. So if you're looking for a spot with good food, service, and Adam's apples, then this is the place for you. You might have already heard of Paro, the therapeutical robotic seal that's been in Japan for years. Well now, he's headed to the U.S. The artificial pet designed to imitate emotional responses is being used as a form of animal-assisted therapy to help Alzheimer's patients and autistic children in Japan. The seal has sensors that react to light, sound, and touch, and will purr, blink, and react when you play with it. The Paro will most likely find its way to nursing facilities, costing about $5,000 per pup. So guess what Japan is sending into space? Nope, nope, not monkeys, but cherry blossoms, their national flower. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency has sent cherry tree seeds into the International Space Station, where scientists will find out how microgravity affects their growth. And finally, Nissan Motors has created a suit that impairs driving abilities to an ancestral level. Auto designers created the aging suit to understand what it's like for seniors to get behind the wheel. The suit simulates bad balance, stiff joints, impaired eyesight, and the extra weight that comes with old age. Fortunately, the smell of Bengay was not included. So we've just seen a soybean toy, cross-dressing maids, a robotic baby seal, trees in space, and a suit that simulates your grandparents. Seriously, folks, what's up with Japan? All right, coming up tomorrow on an all-new AOTS in Gadgetron, Chris Hardwick will be here to kick off Laptop Week. He's going to review the new Alienware M15X gaming laptop. Plus, and Greg, now this is the evolution. We'll find down the evidence that we truly live amongst morons and see a little kid get spun around on the playground until he almost cute. Oh, I love it. You guys go to g4tv.com slash AOTS for all things you saw today and more. Guys, remember, X-Play is up next. Stay tuned. I'm going to go back and play some more Grand Theft Auto. Go kick ass over there, all right? I'm just going to hella kick some ass, I mean, know? this show just kicks ass, do? and we kick ass. It's and, pretty bodacious. And the audience kicks ass, bro. Radical.